Hey guys, welcome back. Um, the table, it, oh yeah, um, this isn't about a table, but the table looks like the stacks are getting higher. They are. I am trying to sort as fast as possible. There's another pile of stuff I need to sleeve. That is actually my last stack of penny sleeves, so I actually have to buy more penny sleeves, and if you don't know, that means I will have gone through a thousand penny sleeves. So I have sleeved over a thousand cards. Um... So, yeah, that's been interesting. And it is fun to get to see the arts over and over, but that's a whole nother thing. I'm just using this as my little, you know, random background as I talk about... I I think I was almost scammed. And the reason why I say I think is because I, I didn't deep dive into it. I kind of shut, shut the guy down quick. I think for now on, I need to start playing along to get more out and see how many scammers are actually out there. So... If you don't know, I, I have a thing requesting that saying, hey, I, I buy Pokemon cards. People hit me up and, you know, it's the same normal Facebook marketplace. They'll say, oh, is this available? You'll say yes. They don't reply for 30 days. And, then, you know, since it's still something that I want, I'll give them a thumbs up to remind them, hey, I'm still a person looking for these things. Um, but other than that, uh, what I just got yesterday was, mm, I don't know how I want to say interesting, uh... I really feel as though I should have dug it out more. So basically, um, I, I use a random number for my listing. I, I just have $1,500 listed as my listing just because it's a good little number to look at instead of one, three, four, nine, 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 nine. I just use 1500 And uh, so he hit me up and he goes, hey, is, uh, is 1500 your budget? And I said, no, that's just a number I use. And he went, oh, okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um, uh, how do you feel about these cards? Uh, I have 70 cards um, that I'll take 1500 for. And uh, and that's all he said. He didn't send any pictures. He said he had 70 cards to take 1500 for. And so, like, uh, three hours goes by, and he hasn't sent any pictures or videos yet. I thought that was kind of strange. And I kind of just thought to myself, okay, this guy probably has, like, 70 hollows, and the hollows are probably worth, like, 20 bucks each. And if you're really willing to wait it out, you can probably sell them for 30 bucks each. But... It's very unlikely. And uh, that's all that's going through my head. And I'm like, hey, maybe, maybe he has a Charizard or the base set three, the, you know, the Venusaur Charizard Blastoise. I'm like, then, then we can talk 1500 depending on their condition if they're base set one. And then finally, I, I, I just go, okay, well, you know, can you send me some pictures? So I was interested still to see what he had to send me of these 70 cards he thought was $1,500. And so the dude sends me pictures of like, it wasn't even base set Pikachu. I think one was Jungle Pikachu, and like it was a little beat up, had whiting. I think there was a Charmander, but it wasn't in great condition. wasn't Shadowless. wasn't First Edition. Um, all the cards he sent me weren't Hollow. There was like three rares. I think it was a Nita Queen non Hollow, a Hitmonlee non Hollow, and um, something else non Hollow. And uh, he said he'll take. You know, he's like, I'll take fifteen hundred for these, and they were all non Hollows, and most of them were common cards and um they weren't even all base set there was some jungle and some fossil and it was it was literally like barely 70 cards it wasn't even like an under estimation and so i replied back i i simply just told the person hey um hey if you have hollows that you haven't sent that'd be fantastic i just i just want you to know you, you haven't really sent me anything that that i don't think anyone would deem really worth fifteen hundred dollars unless there's something that I'm missing, you know. Um and then he replies, Well I I sell hollows separately. And I go, Oh yeah, I, I don't think I'm the guy you're looking for. I I'm tend to be someone who buys everything at once in bulk. And uh if you're asking fifteen hundred for these non hollows, uh I don't think we're gonna be able to come to a deal in terms of what you want for your hollows anyways and he's like, Well what would you give me? I'm like, ah, I just said the same thing and that was the end of the conversation. I should have dug a little deeper. Um, if you had this happen to you, maybe try and find out whether the person genuinely thinks his cards are worth that much. So um, that's what I am wondering, if the dude was genuinely trying to scam me or if, if someone convinced him his cards were worth that much. Because there are some people who believe that and there are some people who are trying to upsell things drastically. Um, so I think next time this happens, I'll definitely be able to have a much more interesting story. Sorry if you've been listening to my rant. Um... 
But yeah, so that was my story the other day, one of my sales stories. Uh, we didn't come to an agreement, so that was kind of the end of the conversation. He didn't hit me back up. But be wary of this. Um, be wary of people who think their cards are worth however much. And um, help your buddies out who may be getting into this and let them know which cards are worth something. A really popular one that's been around for like the past year or two is people saying this Machamp is worth $800 to $2,000. It's a pretty common thing. I don't know where it really started. I think it was someone who just wanted to try and sell their Machamps and they listed it for that much. And luckily it inflated some of the prices, nothing crazy for every other card. Like I think it made like Pikachu is worth one more dollar and everything else worth one more dollar because people were asking 2,500 for him. I think some people got away with selling them for that much, but it is what it is. Um, I guess I'll use this time also to announce our giveaway. So we do a lot of giveaways. One of the giveaways we're waiting to do actually, because it's our 100 sub giveaway. Um, when we hit 100 subs, we'll give away this non hollow fossil hit. No, he's not written on, that's on the sleeve, don't worry. That's the flaming chicken uh, signature right there. Um, so we'll give this hypno away, uh, 100 subs, or maybe uh, if we have a vote, we'll probably put a vote up for it. And you can put your comment for this video too, what you think. Um, we pulled some Jolteons from the new Vivid Voltage pack. So um, we may do a Jolteon as a 100 sub giveaway versus the Fossil Hypno, but it is what it is. Sorry, I keep turning it back and forth through still a lot to organize, guys. I should have done this from the start. It would have been a lot easier. Going through binders does take some time. I can't believe I'm running out of penny sleeves. I never thought that would be an issue, especially this fast. That that really is my last stack of penny sleeves. So um, I know not really an entertaining video as much as I would have liked to have, have been. But hey, maybe in your comments, you know, in the comments below, uh, mention the story that you dealt with a scammer or um, you thought you were dealt with a scammer, or maybe you just dealt with a person who thought their cards were worth too much genuinely. I know I've had a few comments here and there to where people thought like a Charmeleon was worth a grand or something, and it happens, and um, sometimes they're genuinely like that because someone told them that, or they knew Charizard was worth a lot, so they figured the ones below Charizard were worth a lot, which PSA 10 Charmeleons and PSA 10 Charmander's base sets can go for some money, and then if they're shadowless in first edition, you, you are talking some money, but, you're talking to be PSA 10, so um, just know uh, this is my advice to y'all. Don't pay PSA prices for cards that aren't PSA. And the comeback to that when you're dealing with someone who is saying this card is worth however much PSA 10, and they're asking pretty much the exact same price it would be if it was PSA 10 and it's not PSA rated, is you simply just tell them. I'm willing to pay the $500 for a PSA 10 card, get it rated, and then come back to me. Seems a little aggressive, but trust me, sometimes they're going to put you in that aggressive situation where they're coming on to you, telling you, oh, this is worth this much, man, don't lose out, oh, you're an idiot, blah, blah, blah. When they start saying out some insults to it, just come back with it. You don't need insult back. Just say, I'll pay the PSA 10 price when you show me a PSA 10 graded card. Um, sorry, I'm just going to a rant. That's a whole other thing. Uh, this is my little episode on buying and selling uh, interesting stories. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to bring y'all even a more interesting story sooner or later. I'm certain more will come up. Um, thanks. Bye.